we're here to discuss about your movie Perishan Parinda. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> Could you just briefly tell us uh, the synopsis in, in a couple of words? What, what our audience is expecting from this film? Well, the title itself, Parishan Parinda, if you convert that into English, it is um, a troubled soul. Uh, it's, about, it's a story about a young couple. Now, I shouldn't say couple, actually. It's a story about a young guy. He's an IT engineer working in Sydney. And uh, like youngsters do, they work hard and they party hard. And so does this guy. And uh, this guy, one day, he can, comes back from uh, his work. He's very tired and he just crashes in his bed. When he crashes in his bed, he's so tired he doesn't know. Obviously, he's had a few drinks. And next morning when he wakes up, uh, he finds a girl next door, sleeping next to him. And he looks and he says, what the heck, who's she? And he doesn't know who she is. He doesn't recollect how she got there. And then she gets up and she asks the same question. And there's a lot of commotion within the room as to who are you and who are you? And it is his, and this guy says, this is my room, this is my bed. How are you here? And she says, did you kidnap me? No, I didn't. Why would I kidnap you? And this kept on and on and on. And it turned out that she's the gangster's daughter. The biggest gangster in Sydney. And he's shocked because he's never experienced. Forget a gangster. He's never experienced what he's experienced right, right now. Yeah, so... Why choose Sydney? Why choose Sydney? Uh, you're a New Zealand-based director. Uh, why, why choose Sydney? I'll correct you there. I'm a New Zealand-based Indian director who's got his roots out of India, yeah. in Mumbai, and I'm also actually doing a film in Mumbai. Uh, so I'm in and out of uh, India, but yes, I have sort of, you know... My, base yourself in Base New myself in New Zealand. I like it there. But I love it here as well, in Fiji, and I'll give you reasons in a moment. But why Sydney? Purely because what's happening is, out of India, where are the Indians actually literally going outside the world? First it was the US, then it became Canada. Where else? Singapore. Now it is Australia. So everyone's going to Australia. I mean, they're going to New Zealand as well, but Australia more so. And where in Australia? Sydney. So we thought, you know what, this is a story which is of an NRI, which is non-resident Indian. And where are these in non-resident Indians? They're in Sydney and Parramatta, uh, in Blacktown, in Liverpool. You tell me. <laughs> You're from there, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you've, uh, you've, uh, you have actors uh, from different nationalities. Um, you know, this is something that's unique to the movies that you've done before. Yes. Uh, is there a reason why you, you choose from act choose actors from uh, of Indian heritage from Fiji, from New Zealand, from from India? Yes, I mean the story demanded that, and it demanded that we have actors from all parts as, as much as possible. So we've got actors from India, we've got actors from Australia, we've got actors from Fiji, we've got act act actors from Singapore. So we picked up a variety of um, you know, actors from all over the world and you know what, Fiji shines in this as well, which is great, which is great and that means that Fiji's got a lot of talent. It's just that they just don't get the opportunity, they just don't get the, the stage, so to speak, to go to the international level where, and this movie is international. This movie has already uh, screened in India and still screening. As a, as a filmmaker, we, not, we want a film to be screening for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's great. But this is its third week in India, which is fantastic. So, and, and, and Fijian Indians are shining. And why not? You've, uh, you've done three other movies. Uh, uh, we're using the same, uh, you know, uh, cast. And I said same nationality of casts. Right. How did they perform? I'm talking about feeling lucky, twisted. Families, families and yeah. uh, urban turban. Urban turban. That's so right. again, uh, urban turban is a more. Uh, it's a Sikh. Um, um, I shouldn't say it's a Sikh movie, but it is. A, 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 the main lead is a Sikh boy, and so it was kind of focused on that. It is a cross-cultural story. I love cross-cultural yeah. stories you know, because that, that's that's who we are when we are outside our, our country. When you come out of Fiji, when you go to Australia, or go to New Zealand, it's a cross-cultural setting you're in. And same for us. I come from India, from and and this is a cross-cultural setting for me as well. And so that's why Urban Turban is cross-cultural. Um, Twisted Families is cross-cultural, and it's two cultures clashing, and both are Indian cultures, one out of India and one out of Fiji. So that's Twisted Families. Being lucky is. It's a hangover film for young, you know, young guys. That's the kind of uh, analogy I would give to. And 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 Parishan Parinda is totally, totally a romantic thriller, uh, an international flick, which I think uh, anyone and everyone loves it. So that's why it's running for, you know, regularly for the past three weeks. It's running in India. I'm pretty confident it's going to do pretty well here. Because the ones who, people who are going to watch it, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You've uh, featured Fiji, featured Fiji actors. Yes. Now. 
Do you have any future project that involves Fiji? Yes, I do. Um, and you're the first one I'm actually telling this to. <laughs> I haven't told this to anyone yet. Um, we are now in discussion with a Fiji actor, which is in my film, uh, um, Parishan Parinda. And uh, Anila is uh, from Fiji. Uh, she's from Lambasa. And uh, she's in the movie and she's done a great job. And while she's acting in front of camera, she was a great help behind the scenes as well because she's also studied filmmaking. I asked her, and just day before yesterday, and I was talking to her and I was saying, uh, what, what have you done in terms of, you know, filmmaking? And she said, you know what, Devish, I would love to, but, you know, I just don't have the scope and I don't have the direction. I've got some great story. And so we started talking and she narrated me a story which is on your girmit. And when she narrated me the story, the synopsis of it, I can tell you that is an international flick. She wants to base it from Australia, by the way. But I say we connect India and connect the dots, obviously, into, uh, into Fiji. So this is very much a Fiji film, which she wants to give a Australian flavor to it. And I'm saying, you know what? I'm an Indian. I'll bring India as well. So this is going to be sort of a triangular thing, which is purely on Girmit, and it is a very touching, true story. It, uh, I had I had goose, goose, goosebumps, and I didn't know that this story existed. She has it. And that's uh, that's something that's um, always case. Uh, you know, especially there's not a lot of uh, publicity on on um, the origins of Kilmit and uh, that's right. and and features about the the endangered process itself. You as a as a as an Indian, mm. you know, who's uh, obviously got links to in the features. Were you aware of this history? Honestly, um, no, I wasn't. I was absolutely not, and when I came to know, uh, it really hurt me, because definitely you guys are from where we are, end of story. You originally came from there, your forefathers came from there, uh, and you guys have actually in Fiji kept the culture so well alive, and you have not just kept in Fiji, wherever you have gone in the world, be it Canada, be it the US, be it Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Indians have kept the culture, which I think so you should be proud of. I can say this on camera, sometimes the Indians who are out of India have not kept that which you guys have kept because you actually treasure it, you miss it and I feel for it and as a director, as a filmmaker, as a storyteller, I want to tell that story and if I'm the first one, so be it, I want to give it a international look, I want to give it a massive scale um, and yes, I want to take this movie to the world and hopefully we can you know, travel with the movie and, and Fiji can be proud of it. And Indians out of Fiji and the Fijians, you guys are no different. I mean, you know, the Fijians as well have integrated so beautifully with the culture. You guys have integrated with the Fijians and the Fijians have with the Indians. It's so beautiful. Where do we get to see all this? I don't see anywhere. I think so Fiji is, 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 is a treasure in that sense. It's beautiful. I'm um, coming back to your original movie, or the, the original reason we have. Now, uh, when, when are we expecting this to be released in Fiji? Uh, so this is releasing next weekend. Uh, so 7th of June onwards. Uh, sorry, 7th, yeah, 7th of June, my bad. Uh, it is releasing from 7th of June. It is releasing in Village 6 Cinemas. And so that's where it is releasing. And um, so I'm very excited. And the budget, uh, how, how would you be able to disclose how much? Uh, the budget? Yeah. Well, I, I guess the best, the beauty is uh, in the beast. So I would, uh, I would leave it to the audience to decide. It is, it is at, a, at a scale that you will see. It is definitely at a very good scale. Uh, it is at a scale which we could show it in India because India would not otherwise show the movie in mainstream cinemas. So we went mainstream in India. A uh, lot of media covered in India all over the country. And so it is a budget which you will decide. And uh, being a director, I don't get to decide on that anyway. Okay. I just simply it's ask, the give, me so. this, give me this and they do it. And the producer just makes it happen. Now I understand that uh, during the actual uh, concept process, uh, there was some... Um, um, some assistance from uh, Bollywood, mm. especially in the writing section. Yes. Um, could you just elaborate on that? So, wh what happens with this? This is sort of based on a true story, Parishan Parinda. And uh, this story was uh, initially um, uh, the concept and story is from Dr. Rachel Singh, who's also the producer of the film. And she had this story and she wanted to do something about it and she started writing. So while she was writing, she's written the past three films as well, which I've uh, directed. But when she wrote this film, she said, you know what, I want to bring in the Bollywood angle to it as well. So then we hired a Bollywood, uh, she hired a Bollywood uh, scriptwriter. And then he also got in and they collaborated together. And so they, they co-wrote. 
she being the lead writer and then the other Bollywood writer was also there and then the mix that has come out is just beautiful so again the scale thing came, comes in so the moment the Bollywood you know inter intermingles with the international writers all of a sudden the scale changes and, and, and that's uh, proof is in the pudding in which you will see it in the cinemas when it releases next weekend all the best with the, the movie Mr. Singh and I look forward to watching it in the cinemas oh, absolutely why not <laughs> I'm looking forward to it and thank you so much for uh, having me and, and doing this interview appreciate that and you know what love Parishan Parinda and go and watch it thank you